Alright, so today what we're going to end up doing is we're going to install Koya. And we're going to install Koya because it's going to give us better training of our images for stable diffusion. So to get this installed, we can hop over to the GitHub page for Koya. And we can go all the way down here to the bottom. And it's going to have a Windows section right here. And I already have Python 3.10 um, installed, so I'm not too worried about that. The CUDA 11.8 um, toolkit, I already have that installed from a previous um, install. And then Git, you know, obviously I have Git installed. And then the Visual Studios, I already have VS um, code installed. But if you don't have any of these, you can click on these and get them installed. It's pretty straightforward. Going down here to set up on Windows, we got the git clone command. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to copy this command right here. I'm going to go to my project folder. And here's my project folder. And I'm just going to go up here and hit CMD. And that's going to bring me to the terminal. And once I'm in the terminal, all I got to do is clone that repo and then while that's cloning it's pretty quick now if I do my directory <clears throat> I can see that I have the COA SS right there so I'm going to CD into that and now we're here so now that we're at our um, COA directory we can hop back over um, I don't need this project window open so I'll just close that out and we'll look at this and then you know for system with only Python 3.10 installed we do the setup bat and then for system um, with more than one Python we do the 3.10 bat this is where I'm going to change it up a little bit I'm going to do something a little bit different and the reason I'm going to do it different I just find it's easier for me to set up this way and I have a little bit more control um, over what I want before I allow the um, Koya to take over their install process. So I know that when I um, run the setup command, it would automatically create me a virtual environment. Um, but what I'm going to end up doing, I'm just going to make it myself. So <clears throat> I'm going to have my Python path right here. Um, your Python path is whatever it is. I don't have mine on the traditional path. So I got to be explicit to tell where my Python is located at because I have 310, 311, and 312 on my system. So once I have that up there, I'll just do a make, and then I'll do the V and V, and then I'll name it V and V because that's what Koya is expecting. And I'll just go ahead and oh, okay, I forgot to tell it Python. <clears throat> And then I'll go ahead and um, make that where it has my um, virtual environment. So now that that's done, we need to activate it. So it's going to be um, V E and V scripts um, activate. So now we're in our virtual environment. We can tell right here. And what I like to do is I like to have the latest version of pip installed. So I'm going to do the Python dash make pip install upgrade pip. And we'll go ahead and run that and then we'll just make sure that our pip is upgraded. The next thing I like to do is I like to make sure that the will is installed. So I'll put that in there and then just make that um, how I want it. Then I'm going to deactivate my B and V. Deactivate. Okay, so it'll help if I spell it correctly. So now that it's um, deactivated, I'm just going to hit CLS to um, clear my screen, bring it back up to the top. And then now what I can do is now I want to run my setup bat file. So now that I have that, and we'll go ahead and run this, and it'll take a second to um, run. And we're here. Now, 
I want to install the Koi GUI. <clears throat> so when I was in my virtual environment, I could have done the pip install requirement, you know, package, but you know, I wanted to make sure that I had the wills and the upgrade, you know, done prior to that. But those are the only two main things. Rather than this, I can just hit one and I'll let the um, setup file take care of everything else. And then we run that and then we're going to install everything that we need to be installed. Now, i done this before and I didn't have the will package installed before I tried to do this. And, you know, it gave me a bunch of warnings. So <clears throat> to prevent those warnings, that's why I created the virtual environment first and installed the will package. So we'll let this go ahead and finish. All right, so now that we're installed, um, since I have a NVIDIA, I'm just going to hit 2. Make sure the um, CUDNN files install. And we'll just let that finish. All right, so now that that's set up, we can jump straight down to number 6 to launch this in a browser. So that's going to bring up this other window over here. And then it's going to provide me a uh, web link that I can click on. And it brings it straight up. But if I wanted to click on it, I could go right here and then click on this. <clears throat> and it would bring me back up to here. So that's pretty much it. I'm talking about that's pretty much how you have this set up. Um, everything, you know, looking good. I don't see anything that's in the command line that concerns me. And this is all set up and it's ready to run. So join me next time and then we'll go in here and then we'll play with this and play with the settings to make sure that we can actually produce a good image.